Hi friends, hope you are all doing fine. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Today I'm going to talk about professional degrees. And in fact, if you are somebody from an Indian background or Asian background in general, your parents have probably pestered you in your life to become an engineer or a doctor. And here I mean a medical doctor. And the reason for this fascination with engineering and medicine is that these professions provide you with a lot of job security. They give you certain skills which essentially let you get a job. And in fact, if you have these skills, you are very likely to get a job if you complete your professional degree. Now, on the positive side, I would say that one of the advantages of such degrees is that whatever your remaining personality issues, maybe how you look, your behavior, your height, your weight, all these things will dissipate and your profession will become paramount. So that is something which is very important as far as the engineering or medical degree is concerned. So I'm going to discuss five issues which will help you determine whether you should be a doctor or an engineer. So let's start. The number one issue is whether you are good in math or in bio. And by good, I mean very good relative to the second subject. So if you are very good in math compared to bio, then of course, engineering is the field for you. If you are very good in bio compared to math, then medical is the field for you. Now there are some people who are good in both. They are lucky I would say and in those cases they can look at some of the further points I'm going to talk about today. So point number two, do you find it more interesting to deal with things or humans? So this is very important to figure out whether your proclivity is towards engineering or medicine. If you like dealing with things, then certainly it's very important to make sure that you keep dealing with things in the later part of your life. And in these cases, any engineering degree will be very useful for you. However, if there is a situation where you find you are better at dealing with people, then I would say the medical degree comes out to be a better degree. Now, of course, there are some people who like to deal with dogs and cats, and this is also fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with dealing with dogs and cats, and these people can become vet doctors, okay? The third issue is going to be whether you are into problem solving or you are into memory and retention. Now, if you are into problem solving, then anything technical or engineering is going to be better for you because if you think about engineering you spend a large part of your engineering degree trying to solve various numerical problems that's the bread and butter of the engineer and then when he or she has finished solving the numerical problem they go ahead and try to make things in the lab so you have to go to the lab you have to work with lathe machines you have to work with electrical circuits and so on so do you really like these things or do you prefer to work on things which involve memory and retention. So typically in biology, you need to know a lot of stuff. And therefore, you need to know whether you want to know all these things or not. So typically a doctor would look at a patient, would look at all the symptoms, would figure out from all the symptoms what is his disease, what is his problem. So essentially, a lot of memory is needed. They need to know all the different medicines which are out there, the different pharmaceuticals, the different chemical compounds which are behind these pharmaceuticals and so on. So that's really a memory game. I know people don't like to talk about rote learning nowadays, but I would say there is a lot of rote learning involved in medicine. And so you need to be good with memory to be a doctor. Now let's come to the fourth issue. That is whether you are an introvert or an extrovert. So again, here I would say this is not a very strong issue, but typically I find most engineers are introverted in nature. And most doctors are 
extroverted in nature to a large extent except i would probably say surgeons need not be so extroverted but certainly anybody who is working directly with patients has to be somewhat extroverted and deal with people and be happy in dealing with people because this person has to literally deal with people all the time and these are not people he knows these are people who just come for some problem some health issue and then they have to be nice to them they have to solve all their problems they have to be very proper in talking and so on so a lot of soft skills are required as far as medicine is concerned at least to be a good doctor finally i would say the fifth issue would be empathy so this is something which doctors would typically need much more than engineers and this is essentially the feeling of absorbing the feeling of somebody else into you so if you have somebody who is sick who is going through pain who has got some bad disease you need to be able to tell it very politely to this person you need to be very kind to this person and so some of these traits are very much required if you want to be a successful practitioner of medicine successful being very important because one may become a doctor and one is not good at that and in those cases you know this person may not be a very good doctor now engineers typically need to be emotionless to a large extent and if you see in science fiction for example star trek there was this mr spock and data and these guys were always somebody who kept their humanity in check so this is something which happens to an engineer over time because of the study and dealing with things but it's not necessary that it should happen so again that is something you need to consider as to why it is taking place so i have filmed this video so far and interestingly there is a hummingbird going around me i don't know if this guy is coming in the video or not if he's coming in the video it's very interesting i don't know what he's doing here so close so that's all for today i will see you in a video sometime soon let me see if this hummingbird guy right mm -hmm. yeah he went straight in front you may have got some excellent pictures of this guy let's see if he keeps doing it you know, i'll continue this video till that point because i am getting very good measurements here now this guy has gone away okay i will terminate this video here i will see you in a video sometime soon Thank you very much for listening to me and please do subscribe to my channel and encourage your friends to subscribe. Bye for now.